So we're talking with Caleb Cottle, and his show is tonight up in Brevard, up at 185 King Street. You can also catch him on December 10th over in Charlotte at the Evening Muse. And I get another song here if you're ready. Sure, yeah. We're going to do one now called Call It A Day. And um, this one is my mom's favorite off the record. So shout out to mom. All right. Everybody's watching, and they'll watch me as a fool. Well, everybody's watching, watching me as a fool. Seems like they wouldn't have time to watch me at all. The bricks are piled high. Sometimes it seems like the world just wants to know what I have lived. It's WCW Live Music Today from Studio B, Caleb Cottle. That song called Call It A Day. Caleb's mom's favorite song. Off the That's record. right. Got to play it. Is she listening? <laughs> Probably. Uh, you grew up in North Carolina, Stokes County, right yep. outside of Winston-Salem. Tiny the little place called Germantown, a little north of Winston-Salem. Yeah, yeah man. Um, are you a Western North Carolina artist? Is that always North Carolina artist? Is that in there forever? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, it's hard to escape. You know, I grew up going to Merle Fest. And yeah. um, so, you know, it's just always around. And, um, you know, we would go to these things uh, called chicken stews growing up. And there was always somebody playing banjo and, yeah. you know, claw hammer kind of style or I guess round peak probably from like Surrey. And um, so, yeah, it was always all around. And, uh, you know, I definitely feel indebted to that. So yeah. uh, I'm just trying to carry on in my own way, you know, and not act like the only thing I ever heard was a banjo at uh, a chicken stew. You know, <laughs> I've, I've listened to other music. So I try to let that seep in as well, just yeah. to, you know, keep it real. When did you first start playing and performing? When did it get a hold of you? Uh, probably when I was uh, like 14 or 15, like before I could even drive. Um, but, you know, it looked a lot different then. It sure. was a lot louder and uh, more of like a garage rock type thing. And uh, it sounded slowly, uh, I've slowly found country through like Neil Young. And, you know, and then I just started with Hank and went forward and backwards from there. And, you know, it's all one big web and it's mm -hmm. all it's all the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Um, <laughs> so there's two artists. Who's three or four more artists who are just... You wouldn't be who you are without them. Uh, for me, it's like Guy Clark, John yeah. Prine, Doc. You yeah. know, those are like would be three of my big ones. You know, and I love all sorts of stuff. Iris Dement, Emmy Lou, Gillian. Mm. Um, you know, it's a lot of stuff from the roots world. Just because I feel like 
that's what pleases my ear the most, but I'm all over the place. I love jazz and reggae and everything. So. As, as far as a songwriter, do you, do you lean towards the narrative kind of the, the storytellers or? Yeah, probably so, you know, mm-hmm. just cause I think it, it's something that I'm striving for and I, you know, I want to be able to be on that plane of the Guy Clarks and the John Prince. So yeah, definitely tried to, uh, you know, be influenced by them and also kind of carve my own path around there too. Right. Do you ever do covers or you just? Uh, mm. Sometimes we do. Yeah. We're doing a couple of covers tonight. I'm covering a Fred Eagle Smith song later okay. uh, this evening, a Canadian songwriter. And um, I think we're, we're doing like an old traditional as well this evening. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, again, the band sounds fantastic. I love that. Uh, hey, well, yeah. you know, we've got Carl Zerfus and Alex McKinney over here, and they're just crushing it. Yeah. So uh, the, the tour, how long is this tour last that you're on? You're uh, we're just doing uh, the next two days, and then we've got a few shows uh, mm-hmm. next week as well. So uh, it seems like, um, like pandemic-wise, yeah. it's almost like the weekend things are uh, seem to be kind of what's going on now instead of the three, four-week tours that I'm used to. So it's a little bit of an adjustment, but... Uh, it's nice to be playing again. With the new record, the one you, you've just worked on a new record, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, is there a release date on that and a tour, and how's that going to go? Do you have that? Uh, you know, we're going to be doing tons of dates next year. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know an exact release date. I, I, I'd be lying if I said I did. Yeah. Sometime next year. Yeah, I don't want to lie to the, the people too. No, no. 